Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is gonna to be everything you need to know, all questions answered about DTF. And I have had a really interesting DTF journey from start until now. So I'm gonna be uncrating my new trade-in because I had to send my other one back. So if you previously know my DTF journey, I started out with the Pro Colored. That did not go too well. Then I had the Prestige A3 Plus, and then it was working smoothly, working fine, no problems, until I started having some problems with the margins, it started overheating, different things like that. So we swapped it out, and now I have the Prestige A3 Plus R. This is the one I wanted anyway because it has the roll, continuous on roll feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncrate this. Now, y'all know I had issues with uncrating every DTF I had. Had to go buy tools and everything. But this one has those latches, so it should be so much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead, uncrate this. I'm not gonna take you through the whole setup process. I'm not gonna bore you, prolong the video, because I already have that, and that will be linked down below. And there's so many others on YouTube as well. I'm just gonna go ahead, set it up, print, and answer all your questions that you may or may not have, or you might be thinking about concerning DTF, all right? Let's get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you can watch all my weekly tutorials. Without further ado, let's uncrate this new DTF, the Prestige A3 Plus R. All right. Ooh. Ooh. I don't need these. Open these bad boys up. And let's just see has these latches. Okay. I still don't want to hurt my hands. Okay, you gotta turn them. So these came with the latches that you lift up and you turn, I guess. Yes, it's coming up. So I'm gonna do that to each one. Alrighty. We in the money. We in the money. I think I'm doing it right. Brings it down, that brings it up. How do you? All right, I still gotta figure it out. <laughs> I still got this thing. Some of them seem like they're coming up. I know y'all gonna tell me if I'm wrong. All right, I gotta put the camera down. Oh, you got to flap it open. Oh, this is so much easier. This is so much easier. Look at that. Come on now. This is how all crates should be. Ta-da! How easy was that? No sweat, no sweat. So I'm going to go ahead, take everything upstairs, get everything set up, and then we're gonna rock and roll. Let's go have some fun today. Let's go have some fun. And here it is. This was in there really tight, packed really well. So I'm gonna see how I can get it out. Ooh, all right. I'm gonna have to try to lift this up because it's like sitting in a bottom foam, really well protected. So once I get it out and upstairs, then I'll start. Y'all don't need to see me struggle. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't struggle with the crate this time, but guess what, they still got me. This thing was packed in so tight with the foam, I had to turn the crate over and slide it out. My hands feel like I got caveman hands. Oh my God, Jesus, but I got it. Finally, I had to turn it on the side to get it out. This, I don't even know how they got this in here, this is crazy. They probably built the crate around it. Either way, I got it out, finally. So I turned everything on, my light is solid green over here. At first it was flashing red, but I think it just had to, you know, get turned on and warm up. I like this one way much better. So this one has the roll feature where I can do continuous printing. I already inserted my roll. And this one is the A3 roll size, but it does fit the larger one as well, the 13 inches, and I have some sheets. But this one is um, just a little less than 12 inches wide, but you can print as big as long as you need so have that already set up already fed it through so now i'm getting ready to input all of the ink right over here in the tube so i'm gonna go through that really quick 
no needles or anything it just comes right out of the bottles and I have some left over so I'm just gonna make sure it's the same ink this is bubble wrapped really well so if it's the same ink I'm just gonna use the other ones I'm not gonna open up the new ones all right so this is the DTF textile pigment ink you can buy these separately as well I'm gonna remove the new bottles and I'm gonna use my old bottles so they gave me some gloves they gave me the swabs you'll get all this stuff when you get a machine but I'm gonna talk about what version you can give of this machine because this machine is no longer currently available unfortunately so now I'm gonna take each of the ink cartridges I'm gonna put on some gloves so I don't make a mess and I'm going to fill my chambers each up one by one you can use a funnel to do this if you want to make it a lot easier but I'm gonna shake each cartridge for about 20 to 30 seconds so that way no air gets through want to make sure that ink is you know nice and smooth and flowing really good but i'm going to repeat the process till all of them are filled and please remember to go back and remember to shake your bottles as well you want to leave them in a nice cool place so that when they're stored properly but you want to shake them at least once a month and that's literally all you have to do all right so the ink is all inside let's see if i can put this on with one hand so this is where you would load your ink. That's where you would come to do your maintenance every day on the machine from the side panel. So before you can begin printing, you do need to get the ink flowing. So you need to take the syringe that they provide you with, take each of the dampers, and you need to extract about five mLs of the ink and dump it into the waste tank. So just pull it out from each of the dampers and then you are good. That gets your ink flowing. So I pulled all the ink from here. I'm gonna do the same thing from the back, but I'm not gonna show that step. I'm gonna close the lid. I already put this in the front, the panel, and all I gotta do is just plug in the USB and we're ready to rock and roll. So this is pretty much set up. I'm just gonna go ahead and extract the waste from the back just to make sure all the air is out of the line. After I do my first press with the A3 Plus R, then I'll go over some um, key features about DTF and probably answer some most common questions that you might have. And that way you can make a decision for yourself or it can help you out if you already have a DTF machine. Doesn't matter which one you have, the process is the same for every machine. All right, so I'm just gonna finish this and then get to printing. All right, I'm printing my first image. It's 719, so I am gonna time it just to see how long it takes. So we're gonna see if everything prints out perfectly for the very first time. And I am using the Digital Factory, the Catalink software. This is the V10 version, if anyone wants to know. So we're gonna see how this comes out. I am gonna just lift it up just so I can see. Ah. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. This cover is harder because it has latches unlike the last one that I had. So 724. it just stopped it is literally now 729 that's a 10 minutes for one print 10 minutes all right so I'm just gonna pull this forward I have to want to make sure I pull it the right way y'all I'm still learning this machine oh lord I wish it would slide out you know See, I do not want to pull it back guys how do I know when it's done I literally now i don't know how this one is going to do because some of the ink from the waste tank in the rear did get on the back that's what you're seeing so i'm hoping it's not on here on the image it should be fine i'm just going to cut that off i got to figure out the roll feature because i don't want to waste my film so that i have to figure out i know there's like a line here so I'm pretty sure that's where you cut. That's where you cut. So this is the first image. I'm gonna go ahead and powder it up. All right, so I keep my powder in this container. I don't wanna mess up the image. I'm just gonna put this in here. And we're just gonna put a little bit of powder on here. 
DTF powder and we're going to shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. This is where the feeder comes in handy. We don't have a feeder. Okay, and we're going to knock off the excess. Now, now we're going to take it to the oven. So I'm going to cut this on, warm it up, and then I'm going to cut on the vent as well. So that's going to heat up. All right, so I'm just going to lay this inside just like so. Let that bake for one minute. And of course I have the DTF station um, vent so that way it can suck up all the fumes as it's curing. So this sits in here for about two minutes at 260 degrees Fahrenheit. But I want to make sure that that powder melts onto it so that way we can have a successful transfer. All right, this is stopped. So I'll lift that up. Ooh, baby, let's see how that looks. Check it out. I wanted something with a lot of colors. Let's go ahead and press it. All right, I'm in the process of moving this heat press, so that's why it's over here. And of course, I'm gonna be using the new Ecomax Bella Canvas 3001. So this is that new one, really nice shirt. I'm just gonna pre-press it, take the moisture out. My heat press is set to 325 for 15 seconds. Just pre-press that and you want medium pressure you want medium pressure when you do this looking for my lint roller black shirts always have lint all right never mind all the junk in the background and I just wanted to do this image nice and big this is 95% white on the back just in case if anyone asks all right, that's good. About four fingers down. Yes, baby. I have a Teflon cover at the top, so that is fine. Just wanna make sure it's nice and straight. And so I'm gonna use the heat press. I'm glad I did that because that was not straight, Trina. All right. Now we're looking a little bit better. So now I'm just gonna pull that up. Pull the collar off the platform, okay? 325 degrees, you wanna stay around 320, 325. 15 seconds, medium pressure. Ah, that was more like firm, but it'll be okay. This is a warm peel, a warm peel. Okay. All right, so after waiting about five seconds or so, you just wanna peel from one corner, gently. Look at that smooth so easy that is so soft to the touch and of course now we're going to give it a final press for another 15 seconds and here is the final image look at that all right so i'm going to hold it up so that way you guys can see it and let me know what you guys think. Full color DTF transfer. Boom. So remember the white toner image I did? Craft Life, this one with the T-seal and how I told you guys how to make, you know, your white toner soft, but it still has that sound just a little bit. I wore this one on purpose. This is the exact same shirt, the um, Bella Canvas Ecomax 3001. But now I'm gonna do like a side, I didn't wanna do the exact same image. I wanted to do a Christmas image. Now this is this shirt, all right? So I'm just gonna hold it up like this. Hear the difference in sound? You guys let me know which one you think looks best, all right? I know it's hard, but this one is much smoother but you guys let me know, all right? Different colors, different printers. Um, they're both bright. This one is a little darker. 
but I only had 95% um, white on this one. So if you're watching a DTF video and you've never done the actual white toner or you don't know what it is, this is a two-step process, A and B, where you marry like the adhesive from one transfer sheet to the other to get on dark. So not sublimation, not vinyl, not embroidery. This is DTF. And then this one is the white toner laser image. So that's this process. So I'm just gonna go over a few quick things with you about the DTF. Some pros and cons, some things you should know just in case if you're in the market, if you're thinking about it. First things first, this one is completely discontinued. The one I had before was discontinued. It kept overheating. I'm always gonna be honest with you. That's why you haven't seen DTF on my channel in a minute because um, I started out with the Pro Color, as I said earlier in the video. Had to send that one back. Now I'm working with the, um, the Prestige. This one is from All American, but I got it through Heat Transfer Warehouse. They have their printers as well. So now they discontinued the A3 models. I guess some people were complaining about it, uh, but this is the perfect size for anyone starting out in the t-shirt business who want to get into DTF. So now they have a smaller model. I'll do a screenshot right here on the computer so that way you guys can see it and check it out and refer back to it. I'll have the link down in the description box. So it is a smaller model, but it is faster. It is faster. This is not two heads. It's only one head, so it is slower. You saw pretty much in real time i cut out some but i let you know when i started and i let you know when i finished so um if my memory serves me correctly i started at 719 and i ended at 729 so the time length will vary based upon the size and how many you are printing so um and if you want more videos currently ada productions has tons of videos on the um, a, um on the prestige so now they had the smaller one a newer brand new model i showed it demoed it when i went to wallapalooza and they were there I got to see it up close and personal and they have a lot of nice colors too so if you want a pink DTF they even have a pink one but um, they also have a bigger one so no middle no in between it's either you go smaller than this or you go much bigger but if you're looking for the exact same size because this is I believe the perfect size the perfect price range for someone getting into DTF as well um, there is another one linked down below UniNet has one um, so I'll have that one I might be getting that one I'm not sure to unbox but either way same size that one you can still purchase and you have the option of getting you know a regular um, oven or you can get a shaker with it as well so now I'm going to show you some other DTF options just since the one that I have is completely discontinued. And as you can see, Heat Transfer Warehouse has a Cyber Month sale going on. So now it's time to stock up on everything that you need. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in DTF in the search bar and all of the products for DTF will come up. Your inks, your toner. So as you can see, they still have the, the bundles, but it's the Prestige A4. It's a new smaller model. So in the bundle, you'll get the curing oven, you'll get the ink, you'll get the powder, and this one is around 3,000. Oh, let's just round it up to $4,000. So when I click on it, you'll get to see all the different um, specs and it does come in different colors. I told you guys, you get the pink and they have a mint color as well. That pink is really nice. I'm not a pink person, so I would always go with the classic one since they don't have red. But down here is where you'll get all the specifications of everything that comes with it. You'll get the Phoenix Air Curing Oven um, like I have and it's A4 size, A4 size, okay? So come in here, read everything um, that you'll need for all the info I'm just going through this really quick I want to show you some other options so that's a smaller version of the one that I have the one that I have is the a3 size and as you can see they have an even bigger one with a shaker that's the a4 same size DTF but now instead of um, doing it by yourself with the powder by hand you get the shaker okay that one is for around 6500 so if I scroll on down this is the one that I was talking about the UniNet 1000 roll fed DTF printer so I'm going to click on that one and this one is you know six thousand dollar bundle comes with everything that you see here looks almost identical to the prestige guys looks almost identical but this one is 13 inches wide this is the exact same size as i have so if you're looking for one that is comparable um comparable to the one that i have this is the one so it comes with the ripped software now let's just see it accepts rolls up to 13 inches wide vacuum enhanced um print speed up to 13 square inches per foot 
Um, you have 1400 DPI, six channel technology. I'm trying the rip and the roller software is included. That's what I was getting to. So this one says the RIP software is included. Now, I might be coming back and showing y'all this printer in person. So nevertheless, this is the one that if you're looking for a 13 inch wide with the roller, this is the one that you want to go with. All right. It weighs 48 pounds. All of the specifications are here. All right. So this one says included with the heat station oven and fume extractor bundle. All right. So there's different bundles that you can get. There's different bundles that you can get. So you definitely want to come in here and check it out and see which one is best for you. So let's just go back out really quick. Let's just see. And this is there. Um, this is a shaker. This is the shaker for the, um, I believe it's the one for the prestige. This, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Seasmo. So if you already have a DTF and you need a shaker, this is an option right here. Um, but this is another one, the UniNet DTF, the A3 sheet one. If you don't want the roll, if you want to do just by the sheets, this is the UniNet one, um, 100, all right, A3. So all of these options, all of these, you can get the UniNet, the A3 sheet with the actual, um, curing oven as well. So you have so many options and this one has the actual filter and it has the oven. So this is a really great price and it's on sale. Do y'all see that price? Do y'all see that price? Was 5,000 now 4,600. You get the sheet DTF. You get, when I say sheet, meaning, you know, you have to feed the sheets. This was just like the one I had before. Originally, now I have the roll fed. So you get the curing oven and you get the filter. This is the bundle, the A3 sheet print supply, printer supply bundle. Okay. Oven. All your specs are here. So just come under this um, website. I'm going to have the link down below and just type in DTF. I'll have a few of the bundles linked directly for them. But these are your options for DTF people if you want to start. And I think these are some great price options if you're looking to get into DTF. So you have many options to choose from. I didn't even go to the third page. All right. And all your extra supplies that you need for cleaning and stuff like that. So everything is here under heat transfer warehouse. But either way, this is um, of course the DTF process with the powder, you know, adhering it just like I showed you all. You have to, you have to shake your inks every day. You don't have to shake all the colors, but you do have to shake the white every day. So I do have a full step-by-step -step tutorial video on the maintenance, the daily maintenance, opening and closing procedures. So I'll have that video linked down below. It's not that bad. I was always thinking about, oh my goodness, I don't want to be doing that. So when you, when I come in in the morning, I literally shake my inks. And I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't always shook my inks. Or when I go away, no one's here to shake the ink. So I do go away and do things a lot. So when I come back, I just do the long maintenance because they do have one of those. But you want to make sure how I messed up with my other printer. I did not know. You want to keep the, um, I believe it's the button on in the back. And you just want to shut it off from here. You need to keep that white ink cycling, um, recycling or flowing. So that way, every so often, um, it, it makes this noise. So that way, it's... Um, refreshing or recycle I'm not sure what it's called I'm sorry I can't think of the correct terminology but you don't want any airflow going through the the ink so that's how it keeps you know the ink um, maintained so if you cut it off you might overheat the machine those red lights will start flashing different things like that so I know every printer might be a little bit different but um, as you saw how I shook the inks when I put it in it's really really simple you just want to make sure you drain the waste from the back different things like that that's pretty much it some printers are just the sheet I like the roll feature better because I don't have to keep loading the film it's back there that's it I will get the bigger roll as well but this one printed out nice and big this one printed out nice and big this is the a3 paper size so 11.69 something and I think this is a 19 yard roll um, other than that you just want to make sure, of course, you know, you'll have these um, cotton swabs. I have a lot of these to make sure you're cleaning the print head, to make sure you're down there cleaning. So, again, I'm not going to go through all that. I don't want to bore you guys because there is 
there is a full video that I have if you do have this printer um, so you can use that um, in reference to another printer because you have to clean each one so as far as this versus the white toner which one is better I have a side-by-side -side video some people you know um, like DTF better some people like the white toner better it just depends on what you like powder in your house you will need some type of um, vent some people wear masks I don't wear masks I know don't shoot me I'm not gonna even lie I don't wear masks I keep it closed in the container as you guys saw um, I never do DTF when my son is around or anything like that um, pray nothing happens to me but I have the vent my windows are open my window is still open so have all of that where and it's right by the window so this machine will be going back over there I won't keep it over here but um as far as the white toner white toner the transferring process was easy for me too uh, which one do I like better depends on how many images I have to do now if I have to print out like 10 20 images this is gonna take a long time this is not a dual head it is slow so if you're doing um, but the good thing about it is now that I have this it can keep printing now if I had the one with the sheet like before it was a process because you know every time one comes you have to stop it shake so now the only thing that slows you down is the printing and then because this is not an automated system with the shaker I still have to physically put the powder on each sheet so for people who ask me to do transfers I am not doing a large order transfers by transfers because or I'll do white toner stuff like that so it won't be DTF because it's a long time you're gonna pay more because I have to physically do it um, so you have to think about the pros and the cons for that you know is time a value for you but I love love the fact that you know it just looks better and it feels better some people say you can still use the T seal on top of the DTF I haven't used the T seal on the DTF yet I've only used it on um, the white toner but again this is how it looks with the DTF and this is 60 and this is 65% polyester 35% cotton so this is 65% polyester 35% cotton the new Bella canvas eco max tees okay not a hundred percent ring spun um, and comb cotton so real soft and as you can see it's black so you can put this on any color pretty much any fabric DTF works across the board all right so um, I'm not sure what else I can tell you the price like again I can't give the price tag on this because this one is discontinued but other than that film ink everything that I got comes from heat transfer warehouse heat transfer warehouse is where I got it from um, it takes about whatever model you get it takes about two to three weeks for them to even pack it ship it crate it and everything and you'll see the whole process that's how it comes no matter which machine you get um, comes on a pallet and a freight truck have to be scheduled all of that stuff so uh, is it worth it it just depends if it's for you so you let me know what you think about DTF versus white toner which one do you like better but I am glad I finally got my DTF printer back again the software um, and oh, I'm glad I said that I was trying to let um, said I was gonna let you guys know about pretty much everything you have to have a PC you have to have a PC the software the Catlink software they only give you a 15 day trial I believe it's a 15 day trial that you can use for free and then you have to purchase the license yourself so that does not come with it you have to purchase the software yourself um, like my first company that I use the pro color they were overseas if anything happened like for whatever the reason I couldn't get this printer to register I didn't show that on camera I couldn't get this I couldn't get this printer to register only because I it was still linked the software was still linked to the a3 plus so I had to literally um, contact DTF station because that's the you know the text for this printer DTF station and because they're right here in the US I believe they're based in California and I believe they're based in Philly as well two different um, locations I got in touch with customer service and tech support right away so before when I had the pro color when I was having all those issues I had to literally stay up two three in the morning just to speak to them because they were overseas in China so sorry whoever has the pro color that was you know a big issue for me because I'm tired and I'm trying I don't have time to be trying to fix or get help with something when I need to be sleeping so they're US based so that way you can get custom service you can get support right away alright but nevertheless the other version if you want this size DTF 
still a great printer still a great printer just not prestige from UniNet they sell some of the best white toners they sell some of the best that's who I just got the label maker from so they have a DTF the A3 plus as well so I hope this video was helpful if you have any further questions if I left out anything I tried to remember everything it's been a long day um, let me know and I'll be bringing you a lot more videos a lot more tutorials coming soon and you'll see me working with the DTF and I just want to give a big shout out to um, all American DTF heat transfer warehouse to help me get my printer back because it has been a process I know a lot of people say they've been having issues and stuff but um yeah, don't think um, just because I'm on YouTube that you know, mine took months, months. So I just want you guys to know that, you know, we go through it too. You know, we're not special. I'm definitely not special. So, you know, I had to bring the Brooklyn out. But nevertheless, I got my printer back and I'm up and running again. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. As always, keep pressing. Bye.